What's going on? Welcome back to another set of Dave Dave. Today we're going to be talking about cloth nappies. That is right. The last time I had ever thought about cloth nappies before Junior came along was this. Now, this was completely just out of my league of thinking and I had no idea what my wife was getting, in, getting me into, but I don't think I'd go back now. So we're using cloth nappies 24 seven and that's where we get into the nitty gritty of it. So to start off with, I didn't know there was, didn't know what kinds of nappies there were, what was new about them, and just the gigantic range of brands, styles, and everything like that. So the big difference between a disposable nappy is once off, goes in the landfill, takes, I think it was three to 400 years to break down one of these. Now, that's just one. How many nappies do you think you would use in your first year that you're using disposable nappies for your child? On average, it equates to almost 3,000 nappies in that first year. Now, that's crazy, and that is quite a lot of money. I did a little bit of research before I jumped into this video, and that equates to a hell of a lot of money. Now, this is where cloth nappies come in to their own. So within the first year, cloth nappies will save you those 3,000 nappies going to landfill. It'll save your, well, technically in the first year, if you buy cloth nappies, I think on average people say to get around 24 to 30. Now if you're buying brand new, the cost will be, the cost difference will be negligible between the two. So they do cost a little bit more to start off with, but for each child that you have and every consecutive year, the costs just compound. Now, one nappy will cost you, if you buy a second hand, maybe from $10, and if you buy a brand new, up to $30. I think these were like $30. But as you can see, they've got some pretty cool patterns. So we've got X-Men here, we've got Pokemon, my all-time favorite, Dragon Ball Z, Mario, the list goes on. So these are El Camino nappies, I'll link their website down below, but wife got these the other day and I thought, what better time to make a cloth nappy video than now? But I am in love with these El Camino night nappies, but more on that a little bit later. So, costs of these to start off with, are pretty high but if you're putting 3,000 of these into landfill every year multiply that by how many children are born every year that is a lot of disposable nappies that go into landfill now if you have 24 of these then that's 3,000 nappies per year less going into landfill per child mind you. So this is where these come into their own. Now you may be thinking what happens if a child poops in the nappy? Now you can always just have it plain so these come in these come with inserts and you can probably just hose them over the toilet and just flush the flush off anything that is stuck to the nappy, but we have these bamboo liners that we line into the nappy, and what happens is, after the child has gone to the toilet, we just take out that liner, fold it up, put it in the bin, and away we go. So, the bamboo liners that we use are biodegradable, and a lot more nicer to the environment than putting one of these in the bin. So I found myself that these are a lot more tidy. They produce a lot less wastage as putting a full one of these in the bin takes up quite a bit of space. Putting those bamboo lighters in the bin takes up no space at all. Now, the downside of these is that you will have to wash them on a semi-regular basis. Now, if you're living in a colder climate, you can probably get away with three to four days. If you're living in a warmer climate, probably every second 
day, maybe pushing the third day, but that all really depends on how many nappies you have, how many children you have, how often you're using them and how often you're changing them. We've got into a routine now that we've got these night nappies, which I'm just excited about. We do our washing every second day, just so we can keep on top of having some dry nappies for Junior to use. And yeah, I'm just super sold on cloth nappies now. So I didn't think, initially I wasn't a huge fan of the idea of cloth nappies because the old school nappy idea was still in my head and I just had no idea how much easier it would be to use cloth nappies. And I really didn't know that 3,000 of these per year, that's just crazy. Also, before we moved on to using cloth nappies at night for Junior, she was starting to leak through these overnight. Now, some of you may not have watched my previous videos and Junior sleeps anywhere between 10 to 12 hours overnight. So we never normally changed her overnight. We changed her before she went to bed and then in the morning. And that works for us. It may not work for you, but that's what works for us. And overnight she was starting to leak through these. So the Alchemina night nappies, we have not had one single leak, drama, anything like that. So I am super impressed with my wife's research and getting these. I'm just also really impressed with their designs. They are pretty cool. And some of the other designs out there are just pretty boring and basic and just there. But definitely loving these Alchemina night nappies. And also we use the Eco Naps nappies, cloth nappies for our day nappies and we find they work just as well as the we find they work really 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 well just absorbency wise there's no junior hasn't had any rashes or anything like that with them and I, they are my favorite so my favorite nappies so far are the alchemina night nappies and the eco naps for our day nappies really that's just my view on it with just keeping these clean. As I said, you can use inserts, you can use liners. A lot of these tell you not to use creams straight on the fabric as it will stain them and just wreck them. But look into each, each supplier on their guidance around creams and whatnot. Uh, we found that using the bamboo inserts are a dream. Now, give you a little hint, make sure you don't forget the bamboo liners because I have forgotten the bamboo liners before and Junior's done number two and it was a, uh, it wasn't fun cleaning it up. So, kudos to everyone out there that doesn't use bamboo liners and just washes them off. My hat goes off to you, that was disgusting. But, that is my two cents about cloth nappies. Just how good they are. How I won't go back if, if there is a washing machine and a place to dry the nappies. These may be more convenient, but these will be my number one pick from now on if we've got the facilities to use them. And we'll go from there. Till next time. Thanks guys.